Hey guys, it is 8 o'clock in the morning on Friday the 19th, <laughs> and I thought, look at these guys, are these guys spoiled? Are you spoiled? It's kind of dark. <laughs> I think they're spoiled. Let's back up. They're all covered up laying on their beds. Yes, you're spoiled babies. Yes, you are. Come to bed. Are you a spoiled baby? <laughs> Anyways, I thought I'd um, shoot a quick video on a couple tips that maybe new dog owners um, might not think about uh, when caring for their dogs. So let's get to it. Okay, my first tip uh, for new dog owners or people who may own dogs and never thought to do this before is to wash your dog's dog toys. Here's an example. This white snowman. See how dirty his face is? Yeah, he's dirty. This one got drug outside the other day. So, we're going to wash all washable dog toys. Now like this rubber one, you're not going to be able to, these kind of things, it's like a, almost like a tennis ball type of thing. I'm not going to wash that. But all these ones that can be washed, wash. They get dirty, they get drug outside. Uh, saliva, uh, like this one from being, you can't tell, but from uh, getting saliva and stuff on, it's all crusty and hard feeling. Ugh. <laughs> wash them. I do mine in the oh, winter probably um, once a month and in the summer probably every week or two weeks because my dogs, uh, my back door that they run out has one of those uh, screens hanging on. I don't have a screen door but it has a screen hanging on it so bugs don't come in but they can it's like magnetic in the middle and they can run out in and out so they're taking their toys out um, all the time, getting them dirty, um, stuff like that. So, wash your dog's toys. They want clean toys. Um, this one's getting, oh, look at this old Santa. He's a little beat up. But they still like it. They play with it. And if you got a lot of toys like I do, now let's see here. I did this just a little bit ago, but let me get some of these out of here. Like from, um, their cow hooves and any other kind of bones um, they might have. You can see all the little pieces of, whoa, almost lost a tennis ball. Little pieces of crumbs and stuff like that. Vacuum those out, clean them up, get rid of old cow nails. When they start, sorry about that guys, my camera turned off because I didn't have enough storage to keep videotaping. Anyway, clean this out, wipe it out, vacuum it out, get all that taken care of, get your toys washed, and your dogs will be happy. Some nice toy, uh, clean toys. And of course, as soon as mine are done, my dogs get them all out of the basket. And have to sniff them all <laughs> and mess with them all. Anyways, quick tip. Another quick tip for new dog owners is to use stainless steel bowls or uh, ceramic stoneware type of bowls. Don't use plastic because plastic can get uh, crevices and scratches in them um, that'll hold bacteria. Also, I wash my dishes out every day. And if you do let your water sit there, one time empty the water out and take a wet, or not wet, a white paper towel and wipe, after you dump the water out, wipe in the bowl and you'll see like, mine has like a pinkish color of stuff that I used to notice would be in there. So that's why I wash my water dishes every day. I wish I could use stainless steel bowls for all my dogs, but I have to use these uh, slow feed bowls for three of my dogs because they eat way too fast, way too fast. So I, I, I hand wash them. I try not to put them in the uh, dishwasher for that high heat and all that uh, to break down the plastic. But 
If you can, use stainless steel for feeding dishes too. Last tip for today would be to, after you wash all your dog toys, wash all your dog's buddings from their crates. If you use crates, not everybody uses crates. I do. Um, wash your bedding. Uh, once you get all the bedding emptied out, uh, vacuum out any crumbs, dust, dirt from the dogs from going outside. Uh, I give my dogs treats uh, before when they go to bed. I give them a cookie and they get cr crumbs are in there, dirt from their paws from going outside gets in there. So vacuum them out and then I use a disinfectant, wipe them down, let that air dry um, before I put the clean bedding back in, which you can see I just use um, blankets for their bedding because I noticed the beds they make for the crates would break, I think from washing them so much, because I wash it once a week, um, they would just fall apart from washing so much. So now I just use blankets in their crates and they like them because they can floof them up. As you can see, they're all messy from them floofing them up. <laughs> I do use these, um, these type of things they sell for crates sometimes that should have been laying on top of it. He fluffs it up, but um, usually I just throw a blanket in there. It's so much easier to wash too. Last tip for today. Um, hopefully I'll have some more tips for you next week.